I'll do a quick video on my Ford truck here. Um, well, this is a while back. It's been sitting around. I forgot to get back to working on it. Um, basically, when I bought it, I inherited this uh, carburetor here on top. And uh, also, came with this um, nice upgrade. It's a Performer 400 um, intake manifold. And uh, so, at some point, though, you know, the. I was looking to replace the distributor with one of the HEI conversion types. I got one off of um, it's either Amazon or eBay or whatever. So I went to install it, and I my, my mess here. I went to install it, and among the other things you usually run into with, you know, getting it lined up and it not fitting and blah, blah, blah. So I went into another issue which was, I was having clearance problems with uh, this. So you can see there's still quite a bit for it to uh, fully seat in there. And it's not that it's actually, you know, banging on the uh, oil pump shaft or anything like that, like you might expect. It's actually banging here. It's getting stuck with some clearance issues on this, um, These little mounting deals here on the uh, former 400 intake manifold. So, did a Google search and um, sure shit, I find somebody from years ago has the same kind of problem. They have former 400 and they can't get a, a wider uh, distributor to fit down and, uh, and they wound up just having to swap it out for a um, like a small cap distributor, and they do make small cap HEI distributors, but then the, the uh, whatchamacallit, the coil is then no longer like, you know, built in on top, like this guy here. It's gonna be a separate coil and stuff, like the original setup, which, you know, whatever, that's fine. Um, so I started thinking though, you know, what could I do here? I looked at this and I was like, oh, you know, this just looks like mounting stuff. I mean, I looked down those holes, it's not actually going into the manifold. I was like, well, shit, I could cut that out. I could probably make it fit. And then I pulled down the manual for this intake manifold and I started looking and looking at the uh, the install installation direction and stuff. And um, I'm 99.9% .9 sure that whoever installed this manifold actually installed it backwards. 99.9% .9 sure because everything that I show and this is this is a you know, this is plug one here on the front of the engine this is a 400 by the way um, Ford 400 so this is actually uh, about 100% symmetrical to the back and on the other side when you flip this thing around we don't have any of this here it's actually open and these smaller lower um, which we call it their vein I don't know what you would call that is a uh, would actually be on the other side so from everything I've read and everything I've looked at I'm 99.9% .9 sure this intake manifold was actually installed in reverse which after I did a little bit of research that's actually a thing people do install them reverse when it allows uh, for you know various reasons for clearance reasons and things like that in this case uh, it's the opposite of what I need. I kind of need it to be installed correctly for clearance purposes. So I'm going to rip all this crap out and I'm going to uh, just do a dry fit. I'm not going to like reseal everything back up the other way if it even fits, if I'm right. But I'm going to go ahead and just rip all this crap out and uh, spin it around and uh, just see if it fits when I do that. I got a feeling that it's going to. So anyway, I'm going to do that and I'll come back. Update got all the stuff off the uh, top here. I just wanted to mention um, uh, probably be smart if you're taking stuff down um, like this just to uh, kind of common sense, but you might not think about it. Just vacuum like with shop vac. I just got done shop vac and all this crap out of here. I mean, it leaves in here and dirt and all kinds of crap. This is like laying around the edge of this because um, obviously, once you start pulling this up, you really don't want crap going down. You know, into the engine, it'll kind of suck. 
having to fish all that crap out of there and stuff just makes the job that much harder. So anyway, I right, just got the intake manifold off and man, looking nasty in there. Some uh, RTV, etc. I heard these are pretty terrible. It says not even to use these in the um, in the Performer 400 instructions. Said just to run a quarter inch thick bead of um, RTV silicone instead because these tend to leak. That's what people say on the uh, reviews for the what you call it. Um, Gasket kit and all that too, but whatever. You replace all that. This is a uh, out and the gasket on the bottom here with this valley tray, whatever they call it. it looks it's all bent up. Um, <laughs> I don't know if it's because they uh, manhandling it or maybe because they were putting it in backwards. I, mean, I don't know. That looks pretty. Uh, that wasn't me. I was pulling it out and it was like <laughs> like that. So I'm not sure what the uh, scoop on that one is. Maybe it was just maybe the engine overheated and just warped out or something. I mean, it does look, it looks, look at that, it looks nasty. Could be anything, you know, I mean, it really does look burnt up though. So I guess we'll find out, but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just pop this on like I originally intended and uh, we'll see if um, my theory is right. See if it, if it is reversible and when it's reversed, if, uh, if I can get that, uh, which we'll call it, the HEI distributor down in there, fit without any clearance problems. So I'll do that here in a sec. Okay, back again. So it looks like uh, I might have been right. Um, so it's totally reverse now. I installed it in the complete opposite direction, and it fits perfectly. Just the way it did the other way. Except now these uh. These guys are right here, there's two guys that are in the way before and now in the back. And that's how it showed in the diagram, the instruction manual, um, two, all two pages of it. The PDF I got from Elder Rock. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and check it now. We're gonna check it for clearance. Let's, uh, let's see if it'll go all the way down. Um, of course we have some wiggle room here if this is in the way, this is threaded. So, but uh, we'll go ahead and give it a shot. All right, and we're back. A nice update here. Send it away. Um, so yeah, sure as shit. Got just enough clearance over here. This side looks good now. And we are all the way at the base where we're supposed to be. And this is what that wide, wider than the original head in here, HEI unit. So plenty of room for adjusting timing and whatnot of course this isn't lined up right but whatever that's that's for later when i put everything back together properly you know set the tdc and all that but anyhow that's it man if you uh you ever run into this weird situation um the former 400 or really you know any any intake manifold i guess uh, and you're having clearance issues like I was, I mean, just, hell, see if it's installed backwards, you never know, I mean, shit, that was kind of like my last guess, but it turned out in this case to be right. Um, like I said, in the manual, this is the way they have it orientated. With, uh, you know, this part being the front here, those little two guys are in the way, they're there, they were in the back, and uh, well, obviously that's where the distributor was, you know, in their diagram, so. Anywho, who knows what the original installer was thinking. Um, but whatever, maybe it was solving something for them. But I'm gonna go with this route, because this fits now. I don't have to cut anything. I don't have to break stuff. All right, bye.